my God, I can't believe it. It happened, the day's finally here. After literally years of waiting, we finally have a HomeKit video doorbell that is uncompromised, quote unquote affordable, and most importantly, available. You can get it right now. So I say uncompromised because you have on the other two options that you have available right now. One of them is the Yobi B3 video doorbell, which I reviewed a, a few months, a couple months ago. And that, that one is, let's just say bare bones. It's, it's, it's uh, underwhelming. On the other end of the spectrum, you have the Robin Pro line, which has been available for a while, but it costs $500. And it does support HomeKit secure video, but it's really cost prohibitive. But this thing is available right now for $199 and it has HomeKit secure video, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and it's available to buy right now at Apple stores. So we've waited for long enough. Let's get this going. I'm gonna unbox this guy, install it, and give you my first impressions. Let's do it. All right. Okay, let's take a quick look at the box first. Some basic installation information here on the side, and then on the back you have specs. Uh, built with Logitech TrueView video, head-to-toe portrait view from two feet away, True HDR, color night vision. And then all the information about HomeKit Secure Video, like face recognition, intelligent detection with customizable activity zones. A lot of people didn't buy a HomeKit uh, video doorbell before because the only option available that supported HomeKit Secure Video was the Robin Pro line that cost $500. Uh, the Yobi B3, which is the one I have installed right now, uh, does not support HomeKit Secure Video, and uh, it's just for live view. All right, let's open it up. All right, installation card with HomeKit code. Nice, it comes with a nice little plastic template. That should be very helpful. The two mounting options, a straight one and the angled mounting option for uh, angled installations. And what is this? I imagine this is the thing that you have to attach to your chime, your doorbell chime, the power kit. Looks like it. Yep, that's probably it. And here is the main event. Okay, nice. Okay, let me put my gloves on before I remove this plastic. It's smaller than I expected it to be. It's actually really nice in your hand. On the specs front, the Logitech Circle View comes with most of the features that are on HomeKit users' wish list. Starting with HomeKit Secure Video and everything that comes with it, like encrypted end-to-end -end video with local video analysis that never leaves your home, motion triggered video recording with 10 days worth of recording stored in iCloud for those who have an iCloud plan, face recognition, customizable activity zones, automations, smart notifications on all your Apple devices, etc. Other notable features include 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi, HD quality video with true HDR, color night vision, two-way audio, illuminated doorbell button and the bright LED on the front, and flexible installation options. Note that this is a wired doorbell, which in my opinion is great because you don't ever have to deal with battery replacements or charging, but it does mean that you either have to replace an existing wired doorbell or install new wiring for the Logitech Circle View. Let's take a look at what the process of replacing an existing wired doorbell looks like. The card that comes in the box with the Logitech Circle View gives you a web address to go to so you can follow the step-by-step -step installation instructions. Once there, it is extremely clear and very thorough with the descriptions of everything that you need to do. To be honest, in my opinion, it's actually a little bit repetitive and a little bit too much information, but I guess that some people will find that very helpful. In any case, the first thing you need to do is to find where your existing doorbell chime is and follow the instructions on how to disconnect the existing doorbell chime and install the Logitech Circle View's power kit to it. Included in the same box with the Logitech Circle View power kit are three pairs of wires, three really high quality wire connectors, and a small sheet of wire labels. And I scoffed at them in the beginning, but then I realized when I was going through the installation process that they actually make it a lot easier for you to install the right wires in the right places in the power kit. 
Next, the installation instructions guide you on how to set up the Logitech Circle View and add it to your Wi-Fi network using a micro USB cable connected to any USB adapter, which is pretty handy so you don't have to install the doorbell in place before you add that to the network which is done by just going through the Add New Accessory steps inside Apple's Home app and choosing options like the doorbell name, location, recording options, chime options and doorbell automations. And finally, the installation instructions tell you to remove your existing doorbell and install the Logitech Circle View using the included plastic template. The wire connections on the back of the Logitech Circle View are pretty easy to install, you just push them in and they stay in place. Video quality for the Logitech Circle View is what you would expect from a good 1080p camera and HDR here definitely makes the image look sharper and more vibrant. But where I was really pleasantly surprised was with the quality of the color night vision. This was recorded at 9pm in Massachusetts when it was pitch black outside and while subjects far in the background are not very sharp, the details at close range and total darkness look pretty good in my opinion. Okay, so what are my first impressions after having used the Logitech Circle View for about five hours since I installed it earlier today? Well, for starters, it's here and it works. It's a HomeKit video doorbell with HomeKit Secure Video and it works well and it's actually affordable. It's $199, which you could argue that it's not on the cheap side, but it's definitely not as expensive as something like the Robin Pro line, which costs 500 bucks. So it costs about the same as the Yobi Video Doorbell B3, which I reviewed earlier. And as I mentioned to you guys, it's really underwhelming. The video quality is not great and there are absolutely no recording features on that video doorbell. So it delivers a lot more, actually delivers everything we've been waiting for in a price point that is palatable at least. Video quality is great during daylight and at night with the color night vision, which I much prefer to regular infrared night vision. Two-way communication using the microphone on your phone to talk to someone who is pushing the doorbell button on your door works really well. It's loud enough on the doorbell side and it's clear enough on your phone when you're talking to the person. So it works well too. It's responsive. The connection has been actually pretty stable since I installed it. I left the house to go on an errand and I try to connect to it three or four times and every time it connected. But my previous experience with Logitech, with the Logitech Circle 2 was not great. I still have seven or eight of those installed and at least two of them keep disconnecting. So I much prefer for my indoor cameras, I prefer the Ilfi Pen and Tilt 2K. But so far, the connection on the Logitech Circle View has been super stable and it works reliably. It supports all the great HomeKit Secure Video features like customized activity zones and face recognition and cloud recording and on that note, Apple absolutely needs to increase the number of cameras that you can have enabled for recording. If you have the two terabyte iCloud plan, you can only record on up to five cameras. It comes with almost everything you need in the box. I wish they had included a screwdriver at least. Most of the competitors uh, that I've used in the past like Ring and the Yobi, even the Yobi B3, which is a subpar underwhelming video doorbell, comes with a nice screwdriver in the box. So I wish Logitech had included that in the box too. But other than that, installations are pretty straightforward and easy. You will need a wired doorbell transformer already installed in your home. So make sure you check the compatibility of your existing doorbell with the Logitech Circle View. But most people who have a wired doorbell will be good to go. But one thing that I wish Logitech had uh, included in the Logitech Circle View that would have made it even better was if the resolution was at least 2K. But to be honest, it's pretty good quality at 1080p for the doorbell. And I think most people will be satisfied with that resolution for the doorbell. And you know, especially because people are gonna be up close next to the doorbell and you don't need as much detail unless you're trying to see stuff that's across the street. And uh, 1080p is not bad for that. It's just a 4K, would, even 2K would have been better. All right, good people, thank you for watching this unboxing and first impressions of the Logitech Circle View. I hope this video has been useful to you. If you have liked it, please make sure you hit like below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos like this and other unboxings, reviews, and cool fanboy original products that you can download and 3D print at home yourself and much, much more. Okay, catch you on the next one. Fanboy out.